Well, they are 54,000 pounds of explosion and bulletproof steel on wheels, and they're coming to local police departments by the dozens. Police say military MRAP vehicles can save lives, but they have critics too. News tonight, Garrett Haig got an exclusive look inside the issue in Clay County. When an active shooter forced the Clay County Sheriff's Department to evacuate a Gladstone school in February, children and officers were left dangerously exposed. Now, the department says they have a better option. This would have been the perfect, perfect vehicle for that. It's a beast. That beast is an MRAP, a mine resistant, ambush protected armored vehicle. And as the wars they were designed for wind down, these vehicles are finding new homes at police departments instead of battlefields. The MRAP is a 54,000 pound piece of military hardware, and this one looks largely the same as they would in Iraq or Afghanistan, except where this hatches, normally there's a 50 caliber machine gun. The department does plan to make some changes, though. They'll repaint it and add lights and sirens. They also want to rip out these jump seats and replace them with benches so they can fit more people inside. Clay County got theirs on Easter. They hope it can make rescues during floods and tornadoes and replace a 30-year-old SWAT vehicle that barely runs. There's been times I've had to have a towed away from scenes. But critics say military vehicles don't belong on civilian streets and are part of a dangerous trend of militarizing police forces. In Clay County, the Sheriff's Department defends its new acquisition. It was a desperate need for something like this. That's a $700,000 machine that we got for absolutely nothing. Taxpayers didn't have to pay anything for that. A tool they say even critics will embrace if the life it saves is theirs. In Clay County, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.